All right, everyone. Happy Monday. Let's get into these energies. See what the guides, the guides would like for the collective to be aware of today. Please remember if it uh, doesn't resonate, kick rocks. Let it go. Don't try to force it. One card out. You warn them. You warn somebody about something. Ooh. It's okay to be an outsider. Disconnection is necessary to make you an individual in your own right. So yesterday's messages were like, the collective has drawn a line past people can't come back through the door is closed there's something here that's kind of like going back to those readings or not let's see you warn them not to speak ill on your name in your absence they did just that not knowing you heard every word so you could be a very clear audience you told someone to just stop talking about you stop discussing your business behind your back this could be a family member doesn't have to be. You know you're an outsider. You're okay with it. You could be struggling with that a, just a bit. You do understand that disconnection is necessary. It's how you become stronger as an individual, as a soul. But sometimes, you know, being in solitude for long periods of time, it can be a little bit stressful for some, especially if you have an extroverted nature. Not everyone is... Uh, introverted and okay with being by themselves extroverts need time alone as well sometimes or not i don't know i'm not a personality specialist but we do know that solitude is very important but we also know the importance of loyalty the importance of peace right ah uh, look at this i knew this look 10 10 Yesterday's, I believe it was the second reading, I kept saying 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So some of you are very clairvoyant where you can just see into the future as well. And that could be a new psychic upgrade that's being downloaded to you and it could be throwing you off just a little bit. This says, keep your thoughts, beliefs, and mindset focused on your spirituality, life purpose, ass, ass, ass. Someone's, someone's being a big ass purpose as you are now creating your reality you are creating your reality you realize bleh, you realize that you're creating your own reality you understand that you are an outsider and disconnection is required at this time and it has to do with what you're creating you do not need to forgive this person forget them instead forget whoever this is that is uh, up in your business because this feels like a boundary that's been breached and it could be a close relationship. It could be a close relationship. You warn this person, they haven't heeded to your warning. They could be going through some uh, drastic shift. Let's see what we get. You warn them not to speak ill on your name. Someone's mocking you, trying to mock you, trying to make you feel less than. You warn them. Ooh. Mature man. And it flipped out on. So somebody's flipping out, okay? You do not need to forgive them. You do not need to forgive this person. So this is very specific. This is one person. Forget them. Them instead. Forget them instead. You could be this mature man, this energy here. Or this could be someone that you are choosing to walk away from. They've overstepped their authority. Something about overstepping their authority. And we did see that yesterday with the emperor in reverse. And with this 1010, this is a loop back to yesterday's reading or a continuance. Let's keep going. Oh, shoot. I didn't look at the bottom, but now we've got coffin. So something is uh, Barry. You've put something to rest. You're not uh, entertaining someone, something... It's okay to be an outsider. Someone's struggling with being an outsider. Cast it away. Cast it aside. Someone feels uh, they're not high value. They can't pretend anymore. Someone can't pretend to be high value anymore. It's important to keep your thoughts and your beliefs, your mindset focused on your spirituality. 
angel number 1010. We've got another flipper and it's landing with this. You don't need to forgive them. So let's see. Oh, shit. <laughs> what the heck do we got going on here? Main mail. I'm going to leave it there. You do not need to forgive this person. Forget them instead. And then we have house and we have distant horizons peeking out. That could be very significant to some of you. This could be a move that you aren't even planning. You don't know that this is going to happen. This could very well be future energy. And it could be that once you move, you're going to feel like an outsider. Maybe spirit is moving you far away from whatever this is so that you can get in alignment. There's something that you're getting into alignment with. You're being reminded that you create your own reality. There's a main male here that this is the energy of you forgetting them, not forgiving them, or yeah. I don't think this is like back and forth. I think this is kind of specific. This is a number one and this is a number five. So if you're resonating as this mature masculine energy here, this could be someone that you're uh, not forgiving, not forgetting, or vice versa, because this could be a father-son dynamic. doesn't have to be, but it could very well be, and it could be a dispute that has to do with real estate, not just a home, because we've got more than one dwelling here, it looks like. This could be multi-generational wealth, too. You see how large it is, the different floors. This could be like several families, uh, generations in one home, an estate-like home. I know um, I'm from Chicago, and my mother's godmother had one of those brick-like gray stones over it. Like, I forget the name of the neighborhood, but it was very common, way, you know, way back then to have multiple generations of families in these large dwellings. Let's get a card. I'm just going to leave this main mail here with you do not need to forgive. There's something... You don't have to forgive. And if you're a feminine and this is resonating, these could be masculines that you're dealing with or have stopped dealing with. This could be a father dynamic for sure, father, daughter. We'll see what else comes out. Angel number 1010. Oh, false person. Woo wee. Message of concern. So there's a false person. Could be both of these energies here because this is in the middle. This is a number eight, false person. Keep your thoughts, beliefs, and mindset. Something about mindset, a wealth mindset, a healthy mindset, a healthy balance between your beliefs, your mindset, and your spirituality is what's required in order to create your reality. But there's a false person here. There's a lot of concern. This false person could be a third energy that's gotten between these two energies here. There's something going on that I haven't yet touched. So message of concern, message again. So we've got two messages here and then this privileged lady here, number 12, and coffin here. So there's something that's been put to rest. Let's, uh, do I want anything else from this deck? Let's get one more round. Mature man. Landing on the main male thoughts. So there's a main male up in their thoughts. Mature woman. This could be your energy community. This could be the angelic community. The angelic ancestors, warriors. Because we've got great fortune and occupation. So this is going back to... Okay, so this is a runoff of yesterday's reading for sure. Because with this angel number 1010... And this same sort of lineup that's happening, it's, uh, let's see, we got poverty behind occupation and then pathway and then lovers and then coffin and then privileged lady message again. S somebody messed up big time, man. Everything's being stripped from someone. I'm not sure who this is, but you're, uh, if you were not in alignment and, uh, have been apprehensive about letting certain people go just because they're family, but you know that they're not good for you. There's something that's going to happen that's going to force that move. 
but it's very important to focus on what your work, your work, your mission, but this poverty here with this occupation, mm, pathway, lovers, coffin. Okay, I'm going too far or no. No, son in law, official person back. This is this ain't good, man. Whatever dynamic this is, it's it's not for you. It's not for you. You're not a part of it. Um, we're not claiming that whatever that mess is right there. It's very jumbled. It's messy. Um, let's try this again. Mature man. So there's main male and thinking a lot about you. Can't forget you. Mature man. Five. This is landing on false person, courtship, community. What the heck? All right, well, <sighs> courtship, false person. Not, I don't like that combination. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's the number 12, though. Let's keep going. Community, mature woman, marriage, concern. <laughs> Here we go again. Someone's very concerned about how you're moving, where you're moving. You're moving away from thieves. You're moving away from the false dynamic that is your current reality. You're being uplifted. You're being encouraged to uplift others in subtle ways just by being who you are. Mature man, courtship, something about a false courtship, a false contract, fake friends, even faker enemies, if there's such a thing. So now we've got mature man and community. You warn them. So this is a group of people. You could have even warned an entire community, like you need to move, you know, the neighborhood's turning, something's turning in a community. It hasn't happened yet, but you're able to see, you're able to make predictions. You're a super uh, forecaster. If you're not comfortable with the psychic terminology, you're a super forecaster. That's something that's uh, utilized often throughout different various institutions using data, using, uh, using data, using, what do you call it? I can't even think of the word right now. Fuck, I can't stand it when that happens. Patterns, you can see patterns and make predictions off of patterns thank you okay so we're going to leave this high honor is at the top bottom of the deck you're uh, remaining strong remaining firm moving away you're being moved away movement let's get a the tarot wise mature man here mature man community there's a lot of players in whatever this is there's a lot of players 39 12 15, 5, 17, 8, 8. So this community, this mature man feels very false because this equals an 8. We've got 8 here for false person. 12 again, 12 here. So community 39 to 12. When you add this 8 and this 4, that's a 12. So... Either way I go, this is something that's very fake. 16, 17, you don't need to forgive this person, forget them instead. 17 is a gift, star. We've got the fool at the bottom. Okay, let me keep going, I'm getting distracted. Mature man, someone's trying to distract you at work. Sabotage at work. Mature man, ace of uh, wands here. Clarifying mature man, you warn them. So you could very well be this mature man or in con very close contact with an ancestor that's giving you these downloads that you need for your new beginning. You're being guided. You're being encouraged to learn something more in depth, something about wisdom, your wisdom. You're very wise beyond your years, no matter how old you could be. Nothing can stop you. Enhancement just came through. Something's being enhanced. 
someone feels like you've taken their light away. You see, you've got candles here that are out and all of this fire energy is here in the center. So like there's been people, there's people that you've been around that have felt like you've blown their candle out. So that's where that competition continues to come from. Someone doesn't understand that they can shine on their own. Someone likes blowing out someone else's candle. Ooh, community, what the heck? Yeah. Stank energy, stank. What is this? Four of Swords, and it landed sideways on courtship. So some of you could be in a current relationship with a false person. Something that you're starting to realize, you're seeing the signs, or something shady about someone you're dealing with that you thought was on the up and up. There's a community that's trying to heal. We're going to leave this Four of Swords crossing this courtship here. And yeah, of course, because look, we got four, four. 44 here so and then this is angel number 1010 so you're being guided by your your angels your angel team there's something about this courtship or this is a courtship that's incoming it doesn't have to be here just yet knight of swords is at the no knight of wands knight of wands is at the bottom right knight of wands not a, yeah knight of wands can be a shady shady energy and that's somebody's dealing with somebody shady that's just what it is courtship someone could think that you're shady courtship is being clarified by the sun i mean courtship community is being clarified by the sun we've got the two tens here with the one in the middle and then we have this ace of wands here which is a one so <clears throat> Something that you're doing for a community, you could be an investor, you could be someone that uh, spends a lot of time at home, so you're looking out for your community. You might even like venture into different yards or vacant lots and clean weekly. There could be a community garden that you participate in. Something about community, something about the sun. You've got this sun energy. You're lighting the way for others. You warned someone. They are starting to heed the warning. Someone sees you as a sun. This is masculine energy here with this mature man and this ace of wands. This is good. This is goodness. This is growth. This is creation here. So you warned someone and you left it. You left what you needed to leave behind. You left someone with a warning. And now they're seeing you as the sun. You're guiding someone. Many, many people, you're guiding guidance. Why is false person here? Joy. Someone wants a joyful beginning with you. New start. False person. Okay, we're doing a little dance here. Ten of Pentacles. It's sideways. Death. Number 13, death. Oh, she's. So see, oh. Oh, Lord, have mercy. So see all these people, they're going through that door. You tried to warn them not to go through that door. Chasing this false co this coin. This coin was this setup. I'm seeing that again. I'm seeing that again right now. I've been noticing a lot of new coins new cars almost said cores somebody likes cores beer <laughs> i've been seeing a lot of new cars and i'm like where the hell are people getting the money for these cars and uh it's got to do with new arrivals moving in new arrivals and getting this money it's the same sort of setup that was uh it's got that same energy as those ppp loans so False people still chasing this false coin. They're about to get it, boy. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, well, okay. Not learning. People aren't learning their lessons at all. This is spirit warning people over and over again. Stop falling for the okie doke. Stop chasing this fake coin. Get in alignment. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee, ooh, wee, ooh, wee. Thoughts. 
Pardon the noise effects. I can't help it. I get stopped up too on top of it. Oh, thoughts. Who's thinking about the collective? Who cannot stop thinking about you? They want you to forgive them. But you've forgotten them. This is landing on this Ten of Pentacles here. Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> Magician. Okay, this is interesting, man. Six of Pentacles, upright, clarifying the Ten of Pentacles sideways. Someone wants you to share your uh, share your coin. You've shared your coin. You're not doing that anymore. People have to earn their own keep. Someone sees you creating. It's causing a lot of discord. This is discord with this uh, Five of Wands. And this is a Five of Swords right behind it. And I know my vision isn't the greatest, so sometimes I misread these cards. So I'm showing y'all these two. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Five of Pentacles. Oh, Lord. Look at that. Five of Wands, Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles in succession. And then this is followed by this Four of Cups. So this is what I was seeing in the Kipper deck. This is not something that you are, uh, let me put these back, not something that you are participating in. You've been removed from whatever this dynamic is, but this feels like communities, displacement, something like that on a very large scale because people continue to believe the current narratives. They're not learning. People aren't learning but you are, you have, and you're teaching. You're being called to teach, but in a different sort of way. I know this has happened to me like the, no, it didn't happen to me that way, but I've seen it happen where you go through this awakening and you just want to like start hammering it on other people. Like, look, if the, uh, this is happening right now. And, uh, it's gotten to the point, I think, collectively where people are understanding that someone else's awakening isn't your responsibility. You've done all that you can and more. You've exceeded expectations when it comes to trying to assist others. <sighs> Thoughts. That can be very disappointing. You know, like if you're dealing with, if you were a child of alcoholics and your parent would be like, I'm not going to drink anymore. And you get excited and then they would like last the weekend where they weren't drinking and you're like, okay, okay. You know, and you're young and you're like, this is going to work. And then a week later they're drinking and then they promise you again and again until eventually you just become somewhat jaded. Like this person isn't going to like, you know. So anyway, we've got this Knave of Swords that is clarifying this thought. So there's some spying going on here. And now we have the Devil. So someone's very stuck on you. They're very stuck, addicted to what you're doing. Very much addicted to what you're doing. Could be this main male. I mean, often this is like the karmic masculine energy. But I do try to be open or I'm trying to be more open to what this is because, you know, I feel like it can change. So I have to be open to something changing in these readings and not always identifying certain cards with being, you know, um, undesirable in terms of like integrity and morality. But uh, that's looking like that's what that is anyway. <laughs> Main male. Main male, Mr. Shady. What's Mr. Shady up to? Oh, Nine of Swords. And it landed here. It landed here on the Six of Pentacles. So this main male doing a lot of thinking about you. This could be a business partner. It could be a love relationship. It could be anything. It could just be energy. It doesn't have to be a person. There could be, you could be a, uh, doing like fixing your home up say you're in a community and it's like um like the income levels of the community is medium at a medium whatever and you're fixing your home up or you could have even have purchased additional homes on your block because you want to help the community 
and and there are some people watching you that don't really like that you're doing that that you're able to do that so whatever but there's someone watching you there's someone that's like not liking what they see in the mirror the devil could be staring back at them and they just never thought that they could sink so low someone didn't think they could sink so low seven of cups and it has to do with choice the choices that have been made there's certain things certain choices once they're made you can't go back someone's reeling like real reeling reeling r-e-e-l-i-n-g is that right reeling someone's reeling backwards blow someone's been hit with a blow a message message of concern blow back a lost, lost investments, lost, lost. Someone's very lost. Why is this Ace of Wands here? My cards are in the upright and this just came out in the reverse. This is uh, Eight of Cups in the reverse, clarifying Eight of Wands. But it landed here next to the Six of Pentacles. I'm going to put it back. We've got Knight of Pentagrams in the upright, followed by the Moon. So this like looks like somebody that's possessed. You see those eyes there? Tap the moon and then judgment. So someone is going through it. They can't move. They can't have this new start. You have a new start and someone can't have it with you. Someone's unable to move. With this Eight of Cups in the reverse, clarifying this Ace of Wands with this mature man, you warned them. You told someone to get out, to get out before it was too late, to get out of a job, to get out of a group, a community. This could even have to do with housing, like if uh, someone knows they need it they should have sold their house last year before the predicted market crash you could have warned someone hurry up you know sell now they thought you were bsing them trying to sabotage them something like that the sun whew, someone's living above their means and they didn't pivot make the necessary moves financially and now they're losing everything uh oh, she's. Are you look the chariot? It's flipped. Did y'all see that? The chariot flipped in reverse, clarifying the sun. Five of bones. Well, this is a bust right here. Whatever this is, this energy is a bust. Someone can't move. They can't see the light. The light is being blocked. You're, they're blocked from your energy. This is yesterday's reading, but it's reading a little bit different. There will be no victory here for this group. They're under judgment. This is very, very harsh judgment. You warn them not to speak ill on your name. It has to do with you. What someone said in your absence. So let's just say this is a job, right? A career. Something that you've dedicated more than decades, more than one decade to. And you've got people that you thought you could trust that had your back. They've been having behind the door meetings, secret meetings about your dismissal. That's very, very specific. And I can see the conference room. Oh, people ain't. Okay. Oh, well, whatever this is. They're going to get it. I'm ready to stop this reading. That just made me mad. Okay, let's keep going. People are so dirty. Six of Pentacles. People are so dirty. Woo! Lord, how much. Dirty dogs, man. In the upright. Six of Pentacles. <laughs> Clarifying Six of Pentacles in the upright. It's got to do with the King of Bones, the King of Wands. <laughs> What is happening? The tower. Remember, we saw the three fives, right? Five of, I think it was the five of wands, the five of swords, and then the five of pentacles. This is involving a king. 
this is masculine. This is a masculine, a very masculine dynamic. So if you are a feminine and you're a boss, you have to operate from your masculine energy at this time because you're being tested. The masculine, there's masculines that are being tested. And then there's some dirty dog masculine energy up in here. We saw the devil, tower, three of pentacles. This has got to do with work. It really does. I don't know what kind of work this could be. I don't think I even have any cards for this sort of profession. Let me see. Why is this six of pentacles here? Let's see what comes out. Merchandising just came through. Fury. Six of... Oh, compromise. What is this? I need to know. Schedule. Scheduling conflicts. Gain. Ooh, coach. So this could be some sort of life coaching, withdrawal. This could very well have to do... You could work with... You could be an addiction specialist. You could be in aviation. I hear a plane now. You could be a medical transport, something like that. What in the world? So let's just say if you are a uh, stop, stop is coming after withdrawal and imagination and curse. So like say you had to take, because we do have this four of swords here, you could have had to take some sort of leave of absence because of an illness or because of a pregnancy, something like that. Someone had to take a leave of absence, very specific. And in your absence, you had a whole lot going on behind the scenes to oust you. Very specific. Don't make it fit if it doesn't, okay? Let's go keep going. Fury. Someone's furious with you for not compromising, for being uncompromising because you found out whatever scheme this was and now your energy is in a class of its own. You've called judgment. You called judgment on somebody or some peoples and they're furious. This is about being stingy too. Being stingy. Someone was very stingy could have gotten a, a bonus that was supposed to be split and uh, someone kept more than they should have. Yep. Yeah, because my, hu my husband, my husband's been dead for 10 years. My son, my oldest son found a $100 bill on the floor where he works and instead of putting it in his pocket, he put it in the tip jar for everyone to share at the end of the day. So there's somebody that's withholding some money from you. There's some money due to you, and they're keeping it. What's this? Yep, King of Cups and the Hierophant. You see that? So it could be a this man, this mature man could be a King of Cups justice. You could work in the justice system with this Hierophant here, with the Hierophant being crooked, and the King of Goblets being crooked. You're dealing. This is a crooked. Uh, Energy, a crooked institution. People are furious. A community is furious. False representatives. Justice. The devil. The devil doesn't even want to deal with this. Nine of cups. Ten of cups. Now we've got... What is this? Eight of Swords in the upright and behind Eight of Swords, we have the star. This is about you. This is about some sort of fighting when it comes to you and your energy. And someone's furious, you won't give to them. You gave to someone in the past and you cut them off. You cut them off. Ooh, wait, this is... Ugh. All right, I'm just going to... I think I'm gonna be about to get up out of here because this energy is real decrepit. You're dealing with somebody very decrepit. Knave of Swords. Spy Master. Spy. Oh. Oh. Look. Oh. <laughs> ah. Empress. Lovers. Clara. 
Buying knife of sort. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Ah, thoughts. You don't need to forgive. This could be a past lover. This could be a new lover. This could be somebody that really wants to come towards you. But whatever it is, you are in your glory. Ooh, death. And then that's followed by five of cups. So three of pentacles again. Oh, goodness. Well, you have put an end to something. And that ending has caused a, a, quite a few dilemmas for, for uh, more than one person, for sure. Faux show. Faux show. The Empress with the Lovers, clarifying the Knave of Swords. And now we've got this Page of Bones. I know this sword is here, but this is Bones. That's uh, Wands. And then we've got Queen of Bones behind that and strength someone cannot manipulate you seven of cups someone has tried to corrupt you corrupt your mind they can't do it could be a queen of wands casting some spells someone's trying to cast some spells someone's trying to stop this main male from thinking about you this main male if he was just he she whatever was thinking about you Silently, now their thoughts are coming out of their mouth. They can't stop talking about you. Even if they don't mention you by name, they're talking about you to someone else without mentioning your name. But this person knows who you are. Mm. Yeah, look, three of cups. I'm telling you. <laughs> Nine of bones, man. This is crazy, the fool. So maybe you're in a three of cups situation. That could be it. Page of cups. Someone wants to make an offer to you. Look, they want to end this separation. Five of pentacles. These cards just flipped out in the middle. It's over. But somebody wants to end something with someone else. Four of swords. Maybe there's somebody that's very erratic. Um, there's certain words I don't like to use, but I'll spell like the S-U-I-C-I. -I. That's all I'm going to go with that. But somebody could be like there or threatening that. Someone's name could be Susan, Isaac. Isaac. Someone's name is Isaac. Catherine, Celeste, Celestial. Okay, nine of swords. Ooh, goodness. Someone sees you as very celestial. Yeah, look. Look at all those stars above her head. Yeah, someone sees you as very celestial. Ooh, Lord, I'm getting chills. Oh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get up out of here. Ah, what's this? Nine of Swords, clarified by this Queen of Blades. And then we got the King of Bones coming out. So this Nine of Swords is about these two energies here. Queen of Blades and this King of Bones. So there's a King of Bones hunched over this typewriter looking up not paying attention to what he is what he's doing what he is someone doesn't understand what they are you see this person very clearly you're into you're very brilliant whoever you are you could be very brilliant an expert in your field you're very aware something about awareness justice you could be a police officer you could be a probation officer something to do with the law a lawyer an attorney page of blades here Someone's spying. Okay, so this is Page of Blades, and then we've got this Knave of Swords here. So there's someone spying on you. There's been a payment made. Someone's trying to dig up some dirt on you. They were warned to stop. Someone dug up some dirt on you, dug up some dirt that they thought they had. Someone thought they had you. Someone thought they had you. 
someone thought they had some dirt on you. But there was divine intervention here. Something about evidence, evidence being swapped out with the seven of swords. Somebody tried to tamper with some evidence in the courts. <sighs> I got to get out of this. This is exhausting me. I can't. And I'm trying to get up to three readings a day. I'm just not there yet. I just, I, that's what I want to do. That's my goal. Healthy lifestyle, clear your space, focus on your, uh, your diet, your home. If you're not already, something about clearing your space, your body. If you're feeling heavy from certain foods, you might want to not swap some, uh, make some dietary changes for someone. Very specific for someone, not everyone. <sighs> Final messages. Whoa. Clairvoyance. I believe I said this at the beginning of the reading. There's something about your clairvoyance that has really picked up. You're already clairaudient, and now you're getting the, because uh, you heard every word somebody said behind your back, but now you're not just hearing it, you're seeing it as they're saying it. That's where you're at. Crystal clear intentions. You're, ooh, damn. Whoever you are, baby, you got skills. You got skills. Crystal clear intentions. False person. You see people's intentions right away and you let them play their role. You let them play their role. And then when they've played it just enough, bam, comes the judgment. Ooh, that's good. Yes, I'm loving that. Okay, I'll see you guys soon in another video.